So I am by no means a camera reviewer of any sort. I just wanted to make a little video to talk about this little guy, the Moondog Labs 1.33 anamorphic for iPhone. Um, it's very, very cool. Slap it on your phone like that and you get some pretty sweet anamorphic looking stuff. Yeah, so it squeezes your image by 1.33 times. It creates the really nice um, anamorphic lens flares that we're all so used to seeing in J.J. Abrams movies. Uh, and actually Filmic Pro is going to start supporting the Moondog Labs anamorphic adapter. Um, but it doesn't right now, so you have to de-squeeze manually. And there just weren't a lot of nice tutorials for de-squeezing uh, the 1.33 1 anamorphic, or any really anamorphic, for Final Cut 10. So I'm a big fan of the Final Cut 10, and I just wanted to put together a little uh, video about how to do that. And just get it all nice de-squeezed so that you can edit it. Okay, so once you import your footage and get into the timeline, so here's the stuff I just did. Um, so once it's in your timeline, you will want to use the scale tool, but you'll just want to take the Y axis and put it at 75%. And you just go to town. Now, if you want to export from Final Cut and cut the black bars out and not just make it a 16 by 9 with black bars, uh, you'll have to go into Compressor and make a uh, setting uh, that will do the 2.35 crop for exporting. I usually just start with one of the pre-existing templates like the 1080 the Apple ProRes Proxy for uploading to YouTube and Vimeo since they take that. Um, and then I've also taken uh, just the 1080p from the video sharing services, because that tends to be all right. You'll need to duplicate it. So I'm going to take this one here. I'll take the 4K one. And I'll duplicate it, make my own 4K copy. And I'll call this 4K 2.35. Make sure it crops it out. And we'll do the 4K 4096. And there we go. So now we have what would be 4K uh, compressed by the video sharing services compression rate. Um, and it does the 2.35 frame size. All right, and then, yeah, that's just saved. It's good. And then in Final Cut, you've got to turn it into uh, a share setting. So we do add and a compressor setting, and then there's my 4K235. Then I can resort it so it's by my other ones here. Then I can export 4K235. So that's how to de squeeze your anamorphic adapter and export it without the black bars. Uh, definitely check out the Moondog Labs anamorphic adapter. It is sweet, and I don't believe they're available available for order right now, but they should be soon. Cool.